in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, Heavenly Father. We thank you for this session. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your understanding. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for each and every child of yours who is present here to learn about you, to know about you, to seek you, to find you, and to understand you. Thank you, Lord, that as we are building our relationship more and more closer to you in love, Lord, we are coming more closer and more brighter, showing ourselves in the kingdom of the light. Thank you, Lord, that as we apply every teaching in our lives, we are, we are like those precious gems, like the precious stone, like the diamonds shining in your kingdom. And every person looking at us wants you from us because they see the love, the rest, the calmness that we are in. And thank you, Lord, that as we prepare ourselves learning about you. We thank you and we praise you, Jesus, that everything is in your, everything that is in your midst is in our, is in accordance to us. This we ask in the most mighty name as we pray to our Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Okay. Now let us, learn something okay now uh, i want to talk about law how many of us know what is the meaning of law law can anybody tell me the meaning of law Sister Jonina, you will not tell me. One minute, one minute. Give give some time. You, Sister Jonina? Yes. It's okay, no? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a rule given by because a government. I'm, a rule given by a government. Okay. Anybody else? What, what do you it's understand by law? It's a principle that when somebody gets involved in it, it is not going to change it is very objective it is not subjective it's a principle where whatever way you do the results are the same are the same yes praise god okay okay sister jonina now you speak they are man made na sister okay they are not so, fixed they are they are to be changed they change. Okay. They don't remain the same. Okay. So you are speaking about the man-made law. Yes. Okay. Okay. According to you, does, has God also made some law? Yes. Commandments was done no, by God. Okay. Just Any other commandments. law? Any other law done by God? Yeah, he made no, an agreement. Between... One minute, there is somebody else speaking. Yes, the law no, between man and man. law between God and man. God mm -hmm. was his law, and man's was all carnal. Okay, 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 fine. Now, sister has said law of sin and death also. Okay. Yes. Okay, and yes, sister Sandra, you want to say something? Is it a commandment? Okay. Now, now okay. Let, yeah. Now let us learn. Okay. Now, as Sister Sylvia and Sister Mitsu said, that the law is something that cannot be changed once it is implemented. And if there is a law, okay, which needs to be changed. It needs, you know, in the worldly, in that is in the worldly realm. Suppose if a government removes a law, then yes, after a certain procedure, they can surpass that law. They can overtake that law to another law. Okay. So, yes. So laws 
in the worldly realm can change, but once, but once it is implemented, we need to abide by it. Because if we don't abide by it, then we are, we are going to get an equal punishment like anybody else. It is a law for everyone, equal to everybody. In the same way, God the Father also made a law. We have a spiritual law. Just as we have a law of the world, we also have a spiritual law. Okay? Now, is the law of gravity a law? Yes. 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 So, that is a law made by God. God. Okay? So, suppose if a prime minister goes on the 10th floor of the building and if a laborer goes on the 10th floor of the building and both of them decide to jump, the prime minister does not, does not, nothing happens to the prime minister. The laborer dies, correct? Am I right? If both of them jump from the top, no, both floor. will die. Both will die. No, but one is prime minister, no, sister? So what? But he is also falling down from that one. <laughs> he is going to keep a security for him, sister, in between. Okay, okay. So yes, so may it be a prime minister or may it be a laborer. When yeah. both of them decide to jump from top, both of them either their hands will break, legs will break, or they die. Yeah. And it depends. It depends on what they fall down. Okay. Yes. So yes, it is the law of gravity, and it is equal. So, so we need to abide by the laws. So nobody can say, "Oh, the Lord loves me so much," because the Lord loves me so much. Uh, the Psalm 91 says that he is going to protect me with his angels. And now, come on, I'll go on the 10th floor, I'll go on the terrace, and now I'll give a nice jump. The Lord loves me. So you cannot put <laughs> the Lord to the test. Okay? So you the, the Lord cannot stop the uh, law of gravity for, for one person. Okay? Mm -hmm. that's, why the Lord, that's why the Lord has given us a freedom of choice. And the Lord mm -hmm. has blessed us with wisdom. So we need to use our choice, our wisdom in the right way. If we don't use our choice and our wisdom in the right way, then it is not the mistake of the Lord. It is not his mistake. It is our mistake. If we have not given, if we have not moved in the right way, in the right direction. So there is a spiritual law. And the Bible speaks about it. The Bible speaks about a spiritual law. Now tell me. Come on, use your, use your mind. So many days we are studying, studying, studying. Come on. What is the spiritual law the Bible uses? Come on, come up with your answers. Come on, come on. What is the spiritual law the Bible uses? What does the Lord say? The understanding and the knowledge. Law. I want the spiritual law. That Those are instructions. Okay, spiritual law. Love one another. That's a commandment. The law of uh, spirit, uh, the law of life in Christ Jesus. The law of sin and death. Okay, a, a law that we have to abide with. So what it is? We have to abide. It is taught to us in the Bible. The law of spirit and life in Christ Jesus. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Something that we have to abide with. Something we have to do with. It is a law that we need to do. Believe and confess. Faith. Faith. Carry mm -hmm. each other's burden. Love. Okay. Okay. Yes. This all answers are also right, but they are not. They don't come as laws. They come as mm -hmm. like it is like uh, sometimes it comes as a commandment. Sometimes it comes as and uh, you know, like uh, we imitate Christ. 
like if he is given love if he is given forgiveness we do the same okay uh, and some we believe uh, that jesus jesus died for us on the cross and uh, through his death we are uh, we and we confess and believe that he is our savior then we have a new life in christ where we are born not of a corruptible seed but a incorruptible seed by the loving and the abiding word of god yeah that is an understanding okay that is that is like we have to yeah when we become a new creation that is we that is an understanding for us to know right the law of faith believing uh, in the unseen yes you came right praise god after giving so many answers you came right <laughs> praise god <laughs> see how happy she is just like sister joni now <laughs> so so yes we, we the law the lord has given us the law of seeing the unseen okay now that is a spiritual law it has started right from the very beginning when abraham had no children what did the lord do he told him come out of your tent and what did he show from lack he showed him abundance he said look up there look at the sky then he showed him the sand he said look down here so when when the lord himself is showing you the you know he's telling you don't look at your lack look at the abundance that i have kept for you that i am your god and when you are my child there is nothing lacking for you and that is the law of the unseen a spiritual law and the lord says that the lord says that you do this you see things that you want to see you call for things that you want in your life you speak the things that you want in your life and when you speak you are going to get everything there is a law of words whatever we speak comes under law either that goes for our good either that goes for our bad it's come out of our mouth it's done so the lord speaks about this faith now in the bible we can see two types of faith one is the abraham faith one is the thomas faith now what did thomas faith do thomas faith said let me see first and then i believe now that is not known as faith faith is something that is that we call things from the unseen we call things from the spiritual realm that is faith when we don't even see and we believe that is faith when we say tomorrow is going to be a new day tomorrow is going to be a bright day tomorrow is going is a day of hope is a day of joy you are speaking your faith you are not seeing that tomorrow is not yet come you can talk about yesterday because you have already passed that day but when you talk about tomorrow you have not yet seen that day but tomorrow for example if it is somebody's birthday if if it is somebody's uh, wedding okay if it is somebody's anniversary what what is the joy the joy in their hearts is even before that time has come they are already joyful in their hearts why wow tomorrow this time i'm going to be in the church tomorrow this time i'm going to put the rings tomorrow this time i'm going to cut the cake tomorrow this time i'm going to dance so we are already looking the tomorrow even when it's not come now that is faith we are not sitting and thinking no today night god knows what is going to happen am i going to see tomorrow what if i am gone today only nobody thinks about it because your 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 attention your focus has been pulled by that particular event that is going to come in your life in the same way 
the lord is saying if you want something if you want your health if you want your job if you want prosperity if you want your financial blessings now you be as happy as you already know it is there tomorrow and when you already do that okay when you already do when you already look at yourself like that wow tomorrow i am getting my job i am i am sitting in that office i am speaking to my subordinates i am giving a presentation i am talking to my boss i am sitting on my seat i am going to the customer's place i am giving a you know uh, making this deal happen i am making that sale happen now when you're looking at yourself you were experiencing yourself in that particular situation now you actually see how you are enjoying that moment even without that moment coming to you and that is known as a spiritual law of looking into the unseen that is your faith that is your joy even without that day has come you are already rejoicing somebody is rejoicing for the child a child is going to come in this world and wow the doctor has given this date and by next month this time well we are going to have a child in our hands and we are going to clothe him and we are going to kiss him and we are going to hug him so by next month you know that your child is already there in your arms you are imagining your child in your arms you are looking at him now what is this it is a faith that you are speaking that and you are already speaking your joy out you are speaking your faith out and when you are actually living that moment when you are actually speaking it from your mouth when you are actually visualizing the same thing now that becomes your assignment which is completed and that is what the lord says call for things as though they are as though they as though they are as though they were not they are not there but you call for them you call and you say that it is already there my health is there my health is restored my reports are 100% cleared i have already got my resident visa i have got my passport i have got the document that i needed from the government i have got don't say i will get i have got because now you are speaking your faith just as i said you are going to speak your faith when you see your birthday is nearing tomorrow your wedding is nearing tomorrow you are going to go into a labor pain you know that your child is going to come in your arms you know this all things suppose if your husband is abroad your husband is coming you are already visualizing that day you are keeping things ready for your husband my husband is going to come wow he's going to enjoy this food of mine so this is something speaking your faith and when you're speaking your faith you are looking at all that things and getting so happy now that happiness that joy comes into existence that only comes into existence because now you are speaking with joy and you are just ready you are waiting for that day you are saying wow i'm already living that day you are joyful in your heart and that is exactly what abraham did exactly and we need to do the same thing because the lord has kept us as an example when the lord told him look at the stars when he was looking at the stars he was not merely looking at the stars he was looking at you and me over there and he was saying these are my generations these are my children when he was looking at the sand he was not looking at mud or he was not looking at sand he was looking at those numerous people that he is the father he made a vision of that so the lord removed him out of his tent from the tent where he was sitting and thinking about his lack now he said come out come into a bigger picture don't see a small picture come i'll show you a bigger picture come come and look outside what is there for you and he believed in the lord 
because he believed everything for him changed we are also there how much are we ready to believe we we are confessing scriptures we are saying everything possible every prayer possible everything possible then why is there fear in our hearts why can't we see the unseen why can't we see the finished work of jesus on the cross why do you why do some people still feel that i am cursed why do some people still feel that nothing good is happening in my life why do some people still feel i know everything but that is that does not apply for me why do some people feel that i am making visions but these visions are not for me why that's because we have not rooted ourselves deep in the word of god just as we are children and as as a child now when i approach my own dada and mama and i am going to say dada i want this i know it that he may not give me today he may not give me tomorrow but certainly he is giving me because he knows my heart he knows that i love that he must be waiting for my birthday to give me that surprise but he certainly gives me in the same way i know about my daddy in the same way i need to know about my god he is the one who created us he is the one who knitted us he is the one who has plans for us so let us understand let us understand and let us walk see we all are in the word of god okay we all are in the word of god but somewhere we lack somewhere we go into that fear somewhere we keep thinking why is this not happening oh if this has happened now some other challenges come again we go down unless and until we stand firm like a tree rooted in the ground and just face every storm challenge tribulation coming to us we are not going to be strong in the lord we need to stand still we need to be rooted and we need to tell the lord lord greater are you that is in me then this tribulations then this trials and challenges that come to me let, let us see the unseen if you get any report saying that it is a wrong report never believe that report if when if your name is written you sh- you can tell the lord lord the report shows my name but the report is not mine the report is written in 1 peter 224 lord if this is not mine i reject this report i do not accept this report i accept the report that you have written in your word and now when you see that report come in your hand and now when you don't panic but you speak in confidence you speak your faith you speak the unseen that unseen works for you that spiritual law works for you because it is the promise of god that's why the lord always says do not fear do not fear do not fear if i do not fear what do i do what is the opposite of fear faith so let us understand let us believe in the truth let us not believe in the fact what is a fact does anybody know what is a fact can anybody tell me what is fact is what you see and it's it changes yes a fact is subject to change if it's raining in the morning it's not raining in the afternoon if i am healthy in the morning i am sneezing in the afternoon so facts are subject to change so we do not look at the fact we look at the truth 
and the truth is written in the promise of God. And we see that we don't shake from that truth. Just as we, we when, when our loved one, when somebody very close to our heart tells us a certain promise, so we rely on that person, on his promise, on her promise, and we stay on that promise. Yes, my husband promised me this. My wife promised me this. My child promised me this. My friend promised me this. And I know that when my friend is going to say this, she is going to do that. I know when my husband has said it, he is going to do that. So when we can, when we can have faith over our own people who are so close to us, then God is much, 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 much more closer to us because he is inside us. At least our loved one is outside us. He is inside us. So let us understand. Let us not be moved by the facts. Let us be moved by the truth. Only the truth. Let us keep that truth in our minds and let us look at the unseen. For that is what the Lord is saying continually. Continually, he says, make a vision. Go for a bigger dimension. Go for a wider dimension. I am here to fulfill it. Don't you think that you are going to complete it? You are going to do it because of me. And when we rely on the Lord, and we do not go into that doubt, now we see that whatever dreams we have seen through the Lord, because the desires never come through us. If it is a godly desire, it comes from God first. He puts the desire in our heart. The moment we acknowledge that desire, now that desire becomes our desire. And now we run for that desire and God opens up doors. God's, God brings people in our lives who will make that desire come into reality. So let us, let us understand the truth. Let us abide by the law, just as we have laws in the world. We have a spiritual law, a law of word, a law of seeing the unseen, a law of having our faith, our trust in the Lord. It is not a law, actually. Having faith is not a law, but we need to keep faith. We need not to doubt. We need to speak to the mountain. These all are weapons given in our hands. Just as a soldier has a weapon while going on the battlefield, the, the law of God, the, the word of God has given those weapons in our hand. Do not open your mouth to say something wrong. Make a vision to see what you want. Use, walk by faith and not by sight. So these, these are the various weapons that we have in the kingdom of God. Be joyful always. Rejoice in the Lord always. Be thank, thankful to the Lord in everything that you ask. Ask like you have received it. These are weapons. Let us take these weapons and look at the unseen and bring that unseen to pass into reality from the spiritual world to the real world by applying it in our life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, and praise you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, and we love you. Thank you for this understanding. Thank you, Lord, for, for you have made it so very clear and easy for us to understand that we need to abide by the law that is given to us, just as we abide by the laws of this worldly realm. In the same way, Lord, there are spiritual laws. When we ab abide by that, when we apply it in our lives, we see that that spiritual laws, just as the worldly laws are, that spiritual laws also come into manifestation, come into existence. Thank you, Lord, that as we choose to believe in your written word, we know and we know that everything is perfectly manifested in our lives with by our faith. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. All that we ask, we do, and we apply is in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen.